In this video, we're going to talk about how to get started with the basics in Scalar. So what I mean by basics is understanding the structure of Scalar and how it works, creating VCS providers, creating provider configurations, and then being able to create workspaces and Terraform runs to really just get some of the foundational work completed. So first off, around the structure of Scalar. When you sign up for Scalar, you're going to get an account, and within an account is then environments. So right now I'm at the account dashboard, and within the account scope, this is really where more of the platform administration is going to happen, where you're gonna manage your environments. You'll see run dashboards across the entire account. You'll manage integrations with your VCS providers or Slack or Datadog, um, managing OPA, adding the provider configurations to authenticate to any providers or clouds that you're, you're working with, maybe managing modules, agent pools, your IAM RBAC. So really this is the administrative interface so that you can build in all those controls for your users to then have autonomy over their environments, which then brings us to the definition of environment. So an environment is really an isolated collection of workspaces, teams, users, policies, and, and potentially provider configurations. So in this case, we'll create an environment and call it demo. And once, that's envir once that environment's created, we're then going to want to add components to it. So if I click on configuration here, we'll see that we can add provider configurations, which is the way to authenticate to your providers. But we can add OPA policies, access policies for teams and users, variables, and VCS providers. So VCS providers is probably the first thing we're going to want to add because that's how you enable a GitOps workflow. That's how you enable importing modules to the module registry, adding OPA policies, and, and many other things. So we'll first start with that, and we will integrate with GitHub in this case. Demo VCS, and we'll go ahead and connect to GitHub. We'll select the organization, and then you'll be prompted which repositories you want access to. In this case, I'm just going to go with all. All right, with that, we're now integrated with our VCS provider, in this case, GitHub. I'm gonna go back to my environment, configuration, and we'll verify that that has now been shared uh, with my, my demo environment. The next thing we wanna do is now add a provider configuration. So what I'm gonna do once I get into the workspaces is deploy an S3 bucket through a module. But right now, there's no way for Scalar to actually do that. So we'll go ahead and click on Manage Configurations and click on Create Configuration. So in there, you're going to see a couple of the out-of-the-box configurations. So managing Scalar with Terraform or AWS, Azure, Google. Or lastly, there's a custom provider, which essentially means anything you don't see on here, you can create a provider configuration, which is just going to have the ability to create that provider with a key value input so you can essentially create one for any provider out there. We're going to go ahead and we'll, we'll start with AWS. So what you're typically going to do, I've already authenticated here, but you're going to add in uh, the provider name, select the account type. So whether it's you know, regular GovCloud or China, are you going to use IAM role authentication or our access keys? If it is the role, you're going to trust the account or a service entity. So if you're using a self-hosted agent at Scalar, do you want to deploy that on EC2 instance and just assume the role of the EC2 instance? And then which account is it going to trust? Is it going to be a Scalar managed account or user managed? So once you have all that information, you can create that role in AWS, assign the external ID to, to it to make sure that it's unique. And then you copy that role ARN back in uh, to Scalar and you click create. Once you've created that, so I have one, an example here, that's going to then ask you to share it with environments. So what's just because we've created the provider configuration doesn't necessarily mean that anybody can use it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click share with environments, which is then going to prompt me which environments do I want to share this with. So I'm going to share it only with that environment I just created, because in this case, I want to have a credential specific to each scalar environment. And because what I've done is created a scalar environment per AWS account, to make it easier for my, my users to, to visualize if they're jumping from AWS back into Scalar. We'll go ahead and save that. So we've made it available to the environment, 
but it still isn't necessarily going to get passed into the Terraform run because it hasn't been made as the default for it yet. And the reason for that is you can have as many provider configurations specific to AWS as you want within an environment. And that's in case a workspace needs to have multiple credentials. So we don't necessarily make it the default automatically, but in this case, I do want it to actually be the default. So I'll come back into my demo environment, click on configuration. While we're over that, where you can see make default. And now basically what that means is now this is going to be assigned to every workspace that I create in my demo environment, and then automatically pass to the run. So I've created our VCS provider. We've created our provider configurations. Now we're ready to create a workspace and actually deploy something. So with that, I'm going to jump down to the environment. So I'm at the account scope. I'm going to jump into the environment. An environment is really where your teams are going to operate and deploy their Terraform code. So it's a, again, it's a collection of workspaces, teams, users, policies, and whatnot. So it really just isolates those users and teams within that environment. And we'll go ahead and click Create Workspace. So I'm going to create an S3 bucket. Source, I'm going to stick with VCS, but I have the ability to also deploy from our model registry or use the standard uh, you know, open source Terraform CLI. Select the VCS provider we just created, and we'll use the S3 module that we have there. In this case, I'm going to keep it to the main branch. If you do have a mono repo, you can select the working directory. And then we give you a couple other options around paths. Do you want to enable or disable dry runs? Do you actually want to pull in sub modules? If you do have var files to pass in, you have the ability to do that as well. So create that workspace. And we'll see the configuration version is now pending, which means that it's uploading from GitHub into Scalar. And it has done so successfully. And now we'll go ahead and queue a run, which will bring us into the pipeline. And we'll go through the plan, cost estimate, OPA policy check, and then finally the apply. When reviewing the plan, you have two options, the Terraform, standard Terraform output, which you see right now, or the visual plan, which parses that output and makes it a little bit more human readable, uh, helpful when there's plans with, with you know, hundreds or thousands of resources, and you want to make sure you find those destructive changes. So the plan is finished. We're now going through cost estimation and went through policy check. In this case, since we had a brand new account, we didn't set up the policy checks yet. Now we're at the Terraform approval, the standard you know, approval you'll see with uh, open source Terraform as well. And we'll go ahead and approve that, which then brings us to the apply. And now it's going to create the S3 bucket. So to wrap things up, um, so some of the basics of Scalar, you know, we, we talked about the account, what's, what you can do at the account scope, uh, what the environments are, so there's logical grouping of workspaces to create these isolated environments for teams. And then finally, we went through and, and created our VCS provider. We created the provider configurations to authenticate, in this case, to AWS, and then created that workspace to give you some of those building blocks to get started with, with Scalar. Next, we'll talk a little bit more about how you can operationalize Scalar, um, how you can then standardize using things like modules, uh, the module registry, integrations with OPA, some of our reporting features, as well as integrations with Datadog and Slack.